so you so you want to get inducted into the Hall of Fame and not tell me, huh? That's how you feel? Bet. Bet, man. Hey, y'all know what time it is. I've been out of town for the last three days. And everybody was spamming me saying, M, you got to watch M Hall of Fame induction, man. First of all, Y'all got to realize how big of a deal this is. Don't try to downplay it. I ain't want to hear none of that. If you ain't no real M fan, I don't want you in the comments. Real talk. We celebrate M on this vid, man. But look, we finna check this out. I don't know if it's going to get blocked or not. Uh, I might try to separate the speeches and the music into two videos. So if I do that, just know that's why I did it. Uh, they, bro, they, they be acting weird when I react to him for some reason. Like, they be blocking my stuff, man. But look, we finna check this out, man. I'm hyped. My dog done made it. Hey, let's get it, man. Hey, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I saw highlights of the performance or the different songs from him. I really want to hear the speeches. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But let's make this full screen. Let's get it, man. It's only right. It's only right. This right here is so dope to me, man. It's everything coming full circle, man. It, like, it's you don't even gotta tell the story. Like how how M got discovered. Like we done heard it millions of times. I'm pretty sure he's gonna do it again. For the people that don't know. But this is a full circle moment, man. Like you. If you're not smiling right now, watching this, I know y'all done saw it, but uh, when y'all saw this, if y'all ain't smile watching this, man, come on, man. It's, it's, I don't know what kind of person you are, bro. Like, real talk. Yeah. Okay, so when I started working on this speech, I asked Eminem if there was anything specific he'd like me to say to everybody, something that he would like them to know. And he said, okay, um, number one, I want say? you to tell everybody I have a huge penis. <laughs> Yo, hey, 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 ew. <laughs> hey, ew. Real talk. I, nigga, I believe that a thousand percent. I believe you said that for real. Like, that ain't just not no, no icebreaker. Nigga, you said that for real. <laughs> Yo, it wouldn't be him if he if he say something crazy. I know all everything he said was crazy. Okay, um, number one, <laughs> I want you to tell everybody I have a huge penis. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo! But when he started counting, I was wondering why he decided to use this finger. <laughs> oh. Nigga, that's a ball. Okay, over 20 years ago, Jimmy Iovine, who was also one of tonight's inductees and one of my best friends, played a demo tape for me. Yes, sir. From a guy who called himself Eminem. The first thing I said when I heard it was, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, nigga, hey, hey, Dre, I'm, hey, I'm still saying that to this day, nigga. I'm still saying it. Nigga, what'd he say? <laughs> Real talk, that nigga M be spitting. What the fuck did he just say? <laughs> I loved it so much that I couldn't stop listening to it. And a few days later, Jimmy called me up and he said, Hey, Trent, you know he's a white <laughs> guy, right? <laughs> Completely fucked me up. He thought he was black. Fact. The last thing I was thinking about when I was listening to the music was that he was a white guy. A white boy. It never even crossed my mind, but looking back, I don't know why it didn't cross my mind. <laughs> he certainly didn't sound like a black rapper, especially because of what he was saying. I guess it was my ignorance at the time, thinking that, okay, if you're a good rapper, you must be black. Yeah. Right? Not too long after that, we met for the first time. We hit it off, and the next thing you know, we're in the studio at my house working. The first time I put on a beat, he got on the mic and said, hi. My name is Excellent Shady. Mm -hmm. Bruh.
Bruh, yo, yeah, bruh. Oh, bro, I don't know why I'd be so happy for him success, bro, but it, on, on, I, I don't know, bro. I really can't explain it. Like, I never met this nigga. Uh, I came in contact with him a couple times, but I never really had a, like, a sit-down conversation with him. Like, it was an always I appreciate you type gesture. Man, I, nigga, I'll pay to see that moment right there. When Dre first played a beat and M just said what he said, man, bro, that little did they know. Well, they probably did. Oh Lord, they probably did know that M was gonna be huge. That's crazy, bro. We met for the first time. We hit it off, and the next thing you know, we're in the studio at my house working. The first time I put on a beat, it get, it get. he got on the mic and said, "Hi, my name is Excellent Shady." <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Stop crying, you. <laughs> that was it. And that was the beginning of what became an amazing creative collaboration. Crazy. Then came the backlash. Uh oh. Look at him, Dre. This guy has blue eyes, you can't sign him. There was a massive amount of resistance from my own team and people around me. Yeah, hey, y'all, hey, listen to what he's saying though. Like, listen to what he's saying. Like, he, he he's letting us, like, we, we know it. We, we see it every day. Like, I definitely see it every day. Like, when M being the reason, part of the reason the channel is where it's at. Bro, I, niggas tag me in everything M related, everything. And, bro, I be seeing so many haters, bro. They still do it to this day because he white. We done talked about it a million times. I want to hear I want to hear from Dre, though. Um, there was a massive amount of resistance from my own team and people around me. His own team, bro. didn't want me to work with him simply because he was white. Didn't want me to sign him or anything like that. Crazy. While everyone else around me had their doubts, I knew that his gifts were undeniable. That's right. Real one, Drake. Yeah. His raw, dark, humorous lyrics, coupled with an impeccable cadence, stood out from everything I had, had ever heard before. And he was hungry. Both of us were. We were two artists in do or die situations. He was desperate to find a way to feed his family, and I was searching for something that I could sink my teeth into creatively. Yes, sir! These were exactly what the other one needed, and I was willing to bet my entire career on that. But look, though, look, though, we're going to speak on Dre and how he a real one. Uh, I want y'all to think about something that he just said. He said, we both were something the other person needed. Dre needed M and M needed Dre. When it's like that, bro, that's God. God did that. God brought that together. Like, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you. Y'all got to think like that, man. Like, they needed each other, man. That, man. He was desperate to find a way to feed his family, and I was searching for something that I could sink my teeth into creatively. Each of us were exactly what the other one needed. And I was willing to bet my entire career on that. Yes, sir. Yeah, facts. My rebuttal to those naysayers was something like this. He's going to be the best-selling artist on our label. Ooh. Little did I know, the world, he nigga. was going to be one of the best-selling artists of all time. <laughs> hey, that's golden, boy. <laughs> Y'all see who L got with him? Himself to the world with the Slim Shady LP. He skyrocketed to the top of the charts and stayed there for 100 weeks. A hundred yeah. weeks is crazy. Himself a Grammy for Look at best, that two rap years. Album, best rap solo performance. <laughs> and can you believe? After promoting violence to little children, killing his daughter's mother, this guy still had more shit to get off his chest. <laughs> <laughs> Yo! And then his sophomore album comes out, right? Uh -oh. 
Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah. That's my favorite M album, man. Uh, if y'all didn't know, that's my favorite M album. On that album alone, his alter ego Slim Shady tied me up in the basement. Did a whole he had bunch sex of sex with his mother. <laughs> Killed his daughter's mother again. 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 <laughs> While proceeding to offend about every special interest group we have. <laughs> it clearly That's ill for you, man. And became one of the fastest selling albums in United States history. Yeah. Eminem would go on to overdose, relapse, recover, mm. and not only on his albums in real life. Mm. Let me tell you something. Mm. This guy goes. Yo, this like the more I think about it, bro. This nigga Elm was a genius, bro. Like he was a genius in his own, his own way. Everything that we got from them albums was everything Elm was really going through. Stuff he was really thinking. Like, man, like just going back, like reminiscing about everything Dre is saying. It makes you realize how great of an artist Elm really was, bro. Eminem would go on to overdose, relapse, recover, and not only on his albums in real life. Yeah. Let me tell you something. This guy goes through a lot of shit just to get a concept for a song. <laughs> but here's Eminem's genius. With his incredible wit and wild imagination, he was able to hold a mirror up to white America while also expressing pain through poverty and dysfunctional families devoid of hope. Eminem brought hip hop to middle America and offered kids who looked like him a way to connect to him. Hey, that's everything they tried to tear Eminem down about. Everything that he created and, and, and made thrive this was the same stuff they tried to use against them. Real talk. Imagine how much he had to overcome. Like, Dre telling us is not going to do it justice. Only M could really take us through that. Man, that's crazy. Like, everything they tried to turn against him, he used it back against them. That is wild. Hip hop. Hip hop wasn't just for black kids in desperate inner city circumstances anymore. People of every stripe, come on, man. Color have the art form speak to their struggles also. They ain't ready for that convo. Eminem wasn't just the underdog who broke through the glass ceiling of hip hop. He shattered that shit. Yeah. Over <laughs> 220 million albums sold. God damn. That's a lot of money, boy. 13 number one albums. Ten of which all can say. Hey, y'all gonna listen, nigga. To, I know you M haters watching. Y'all gonna listen to these accolades, nigga. Y'all gonna listen. Cause y'all niggas seem like y'all forgot. Y'all niggas act like y'all be forgetting what M really did, man. Real talk. Y'all gonna listen. 20 million albums sold. 220 million. 13 number one albums. 13. Ten of which. All consecutively debuted at number one. Come on, making man. Making him the first artist to ever achieve this shit. Come on, man. <laughs> yeah. Grammy Awards, an Emmy, an Oscar. Yeah. Making him the best selling artist of the 2000s. Best selling hip hop artist ever. Come on, man. Let me repeat that. The best, best ever. selling hip hop artist ever. Hey, look, you can, like, bro, you can look at Dre and tell how proud he is. Like him, him reminiscing on it himself. You can tell how proud he is of Eminem, man. Like that nigga M looking like, yeah, I did all that. I did all that. Man, come on, man. I'm ready to hear M speech up. What's most important to him is that he's earned the respect of his peers as one of the best to ever do it. Point blank. 
Turns out, this unassuming white guy with blue eyes from Detroit being repeatedly Detroit! and turning everything we thought we knew about hip hop on his head while forcing us to confront our own biases, right. going not only the genre, but all of us right along with it. That's right. Point blank. That's right. Ooh, that's deep, what? Yeah. That's deep. All right, this is what I've been waiting for right here. I'm never gonna fucking remember, so I had to read it off the paper and shit. Remind y'all real quick before the goat speaks. But he a guest though. He a guest in hip hop. A guest in hip hop don't get inducted into the Hall of Fame, man. Come with the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. A guest don't do that. Come on, man. Stop playing. On the heart, man. Oh. I realize what an honor it is right now for me to be up here tonight and what a privilege it is. It's time it for performing. The music that I love. He fit me. To basically save my life. Look the man who played you. The man who saved my life, ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Motherfucking Dre. Hey, give my boy some water, man. I'm going to try to make this as quick as he can, as quick and painless as possible. I'm fucking stuttering and shit. <laughs> so I'm probably not supposed to actually be here tonight because of a couple of reasons. Um, one, I know that I'm a rapper. Peep, 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 peep. He's saying what I was just saying. Everybody say he a guest, so he don't really supposed to be there. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, he a rapper. Why is he there? Why is he getting inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame? Go. 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 One, I know that I'm a rapper. I'm in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. And there's only a few of us right now that are induct have been inducted in already. But there's only a few of us. Secondly, almost died from an overdose in 2007. Mm. Which kind of sucked because, Haley, plug your ears. Plug your ears, Haley! Because drugs were fucking delicious. <laughs> and I thought we had a good thing going, man, but I'm like, I had to go no. fuck it all up. Take too many. God damn. No. Okay, Haley, you're good. <laughs> so. Hey! Hey, this nigga Emla on his hell with them glasses on, man. Is it just me or this nigga look like he about 60? <laughs> the glasses added 10 years, nigga. Come on, I lost my motherfucking spot. Paul. Did I say? I said drugs were delicious, right? Yeah. <laughs> and finally, I had to um, really fight my way through, man, to, to, to try to break through in this music. And I'm so honored and I'm so grateful that I'm even able to be up here doing hip hop music, man, because yes. I love it so much. And they say that, you know, you won't work a day if you love your job and shit. Facts! Love you! This part I'm not crazy about. <laughs> but, okay. So my, my musical influences are many, and they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it took a whole genre and culture to raise me. Ooh. They say success has many fathers, and that's definitely true for me. So whatever my impact has been on hip hop music, I never would have or, or could have done this shit without groundbreaking artists, some of the groundbreaking artists that I'm about to hey, mention. Look, 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 bro. Yeah. I knew it, I knew it, bro. He he does it every time. It be, it, it, the moment be about him, and he always give it to the ones that came before him. How do y'all hate this nigga? Well, I know why y'all hate him, but like, bro, y'all gotta look yourself in the mirror, bro, and, and really pay attention, man. Y'all gotta get stuck out y'all ways, man, and, and realize this man just wanted to rap. That's it. He just wanted to take care of his family rapping. That's it, bro, it's that simple. 
It's that simple. Whatever he accomplished while doing that, then so be it. But all M wanted to do was rap. And get out of his situation, man. But lo and behold, God blessed him with everything that possibly could come with it, boy. That's great. Good and bad. More good than bad, but definitely the bad came with it, too. The backlash. Come on, man. Has many fathers. Dude, that's so humble, the truth man. For me. So whatever my impact has been on hip-hop music, I never would have or could have done this shit without groundbreaking artists, some of the groundbreaking artists that I'm about to mention. Right now. I appreciate the list, man. I put this list together yesterday, and I kept adding to the shit, adding to the shit. And if I forget anybody, I apologize. But these hey, so this right here is exclusive. Y'all remember he gave us his list. He gave us his list on my Twitter. I want to see what names he finna add. These were my teachers right here. He gonna say Big L for sure. That might be Start first. The two live crew. Two live crew. Two pop. Yeah. Pop. My nigga pop. Third base. Third base. Oh yeah, he added the third. Lines. He added Apache. Oh Lord. Audio two. Yo, he, bro, he added a lot of niggas. What the fuck? Done this shit without groundbreaking artists, some of the groundbreaking artists that I'm about to mention. Right now. <clears throat> and this is a list, man. I put this list together yesterday, and I kept adding to the shit, adding to the shit. And if I forget anybody, I apologize. But these were my teachers right here. Start with the two oh, man, paper. Tupac. Third base. Alliance. Apache. Audio two. Come on, man. Come on, man. Awesome Dre. The Beastie Boys. Come on, man. He Daddy King. Come on, man. Yeah! Big L. Yeah! This Marquee. Come on, man! The Notorious B.I.G. Big! Big! Black Moon. The Boogie Monsters. Mm. Brain Nubian. Mm. Brother J from x -Clan. What the hell? Hook Shock. Casual from Hieroglyphics. Chill Rock G. Chuck Rock. Chuck D. And public enemy. Cypress Hill. D -Nine. Bro, I ain't even gonna lie. I, of course, I don't study hip hop like this nigga M do. This nigga probably know everybody that ever rapped, nigga. But goddamn, hearing some of these names and groups, nigga, hip hop came a long way, nigga. God dang. Tell the funky homo sapien. Damn! DJ Quick. Damn. Dr. Trey. Trey! Dress the black sheep. NOG. EPMD. The fat Boys. Fat Joe. Goose Nickens. Gangsta. Ghetto Boys. Heavy D. House of Pain. Ice Cube. Ice Cube! Intelligent Hope. Jeff and the Fresh Prince. Just us. Kid and play. Kid and play? Kid and play? What a new school nigga. King Son, King T, Cool G Rap, Cool D, KRS One, Kwame, Hakim Shabazz, Large Professor, Leaders of the New School, and the man we're not just seeing. The one and only Yellow Cool J. Yeah! Hey! Y'all know L love Cool J. That's why he got that chain on. L L. Welcome to the 
Tony Brown, Mantronics, Master Ace, MC Greed, MC Light, MC Shane, Melly Mel, Melly Mel, Mob Deep, Moni Love, Nas, Nucleus, nah. Onyx, Organized Confusion, Outcast, Andre 3000, Andre 3000, Farside, Queen Latifah, the Queen, Redhead Kingpin, Pete Brock and CL Smooth. Ooh. I'm almost done. <laughs> Redman. Redman. Roxanne Shantay. Redman. Run DMC. Yeah! Slick Rick and Dougie Fresh. Slick! Dougie! Snoop! Souls of Mischief. Special Ed. Statisonic. Now I'm, I'm down to the S's, huh? <laughs> Super Lover C and Casting Over Rod. The DLC. The Roots, Black Thought, Black Thought, the Skinny Boys, Tony D, Too Short, Trench of Naughty by Nature, Tri Car Quest, UTFO, Houdini, Wise Intelligent and the Poor Righteous Teachers, Wu Tang Clan, Wu Tang! Yo, those were my rock stars, man, and I just want to say, like, there was all the ones that was rapping or rapping before him. He showed love to damn near everybody. Damn near everybody, bro. Like, I guarantee you, a lot of them, a lot of those, these new school rappers, or even some of them old school rappers, can't even name all them niggas. That's crazy. A nigga ain't really study hip hop, man. Those are just a few of the names. A few! That I hope will be considered in the future for induction because. Without them, a lot of us wouldn't be here. So, that's all I had to say, man. I know that this induction is supposed to be me, like, talking about myself and shit, man. But fuck that. That's what I'm saying, bro. I'm not going to without them. And, uh, I'm a high school dropout, man, with hip-hop education. And these are my teachers. And it's their night just as much as it is mine. So thank you. Yeah. I'm a high school nigga up there spitting bars. Nigga said I'm a high school dropout. And I went to the school of hip hop and these are my teachers. That's a bar, nigga. <laughs> Yo, that's just like him though. That's just like him. To give all the credit to, to the ones that came before. He always did it. He always going to do it, man. Like, it's, it's, it's not just for the, the to seem humble. That's just who he is, bro. That's just him, bro. Like, come on, man. Like, a lot of people going to try to downplay this right here. But, M, just, I, I just want you to know, bro. Like, I always try to give you your flowers anytime I can. I, I want to be known as one of the ones that... When people find out about me, like, I gave him his flowers while he was here, man. Like, even if I never get to meet him, like, I just want to give him his flowers, man. Like, he's on my wall for a reason. A white boy is on my wall. A white boy. Come on, man. But look, y'all let me know what y'all thought about this, man. Uh, I'm going to post the, the actual performance. It ain't really nothing... To uh, it ain't really nothing to post. It's just him performing his songs. So I I might just post the speeches, cause that's all I wanted to see. Real time, I just wanted to hear the speeches. But uh, y'all let me know what y'all thought, man. Make sure y'all like the video up, man. If you're a real Eminem fan and you genuinely happy, like the video and leave a comment, man. I'm gone.